Man, oh man, we are back with brand new WWE action figure news, man. I remember just the other day, I'm saying it's slow. We haven't had shish since STCC, San Diego Comic-Con. We haven't seen anything WWE action figure, wrestling action figure related, really. And then, bam, we just get hit with a bombardment over the last few days, which I'm all for it, you know, I'm all for it. But today, we're back again, man. And we have some things, man. There are some things that we got to talk about. One just ridiculous thing that I just could not believe. And we'll get into it. I'll break it down, and you can make a defensive case, but I'll, I'll squash it real quick, man. I'm telling you, man. Regardless of the case, man, we have a lot of new images today of some brand new action figures coming, and we gotta discuss it, man. We have a lot of stuff to talk about here. Let's let's dive into it, man. We have the top picks wave, and I've lost count on the damn year and the wave and everything, man. I mean, there's so many of these waves now, I don't know what the hell's going on, but we have the top picks Roman Reigns up first. This is an Elite 110 re-release. Nothing changing about this. It is very bummerific. They couldn't even give me an updated fade or nothing, man. They just re-released the same damn figure, and it's gonna sell like hotcakes. I get it. It's a Roman Reigns. It's a good Roman Reigns. It's a good head sculpt, everything, but they couldn't even repaint it there. It's, I want to say that the championship looks slightly different to me. I don't know if it's some details on the main plate or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just tripping in my head or something, but we do have a new Roman Reigns here, if you can call it new, but this is the figure we got to talk about. The top pick, Seth Rollins. You look at it, you're like, oh, it's just an ordinary crabby, oh my goodness, because you think it's just Elite 99 Seth Rollins until you take a look at this damn torso. What in the hell? am I looking at, Brad? What in the hell is this, okay? You do have Seth Rollins. It's the Elite 99 base. All the good stuff there. They gave him the Daniel Bryan torso, man. They gave him the Daniel Bryan torso. Absolutely insanity. Never saw this coming. Now, there's a couple of things that you could point to People are saying, oh, he's not as ripped up as he once was. He's not as jacked as he once was, whatever the case is. But I'm about to squash that real quick because not only is this torso smaller than the other one, so what you're saying is, oh, he's not as ripped up anymore. That would mean, Brad, that he's put on more weight. That would not mean that he's lost muscle, man. He hasn't lost any muscle, really. If anything, he's gotten bigger in terms of muscle. So if they were going to use a chunkier Rollins, quote-unquote, or a Rollins that is not as shredded as the normal Finn Balor, Randy Orton, Seth Rollins-style torso that they like to use, you know that Dolph Ziggler mold that they always use for the torso, then they should have upgraded it and used some other torso that was still big, like a Terry Funk torso or the Stone Cold torso or something like that. That's, that's the one that they should have used, not one that would be skinnier. And if you want to argue on that one, well, Brad, then look at Solo Sokoa. What did you say about Solo Sokoa when they gave him the, when they gave him the Daniel Bryan torso? Oh, he's way too skinny, man. He's way too small. So that's what I'm saying. This is, I don't I don't know what they're, th I mean, I guess that they thought maybe that, you know, he's not as ripped up anymore. So this works. Absolutely not in this case. And also the reason that I would say absolutely not is because we've already seen this figure before, man. It's not like it's a brand new figure. The top talents, it's just a re-release. They changed the head sculpt to, you know, the Ultimate Edition gritty teeth one that we've seen on another figure before as well. And then it's the Elite 99 figure and they give it open knee pads. They did give it open knee pads. They gave it the same jacket and everything. And with the jacket on, it's not that big of a deal. You can't see it, I know. But I don't know. Just a really odd choice. Just a very weird thing to do. I don't know why you would ever change that. It, it's one of those things that was completely unnecessary. If it's not broke, don't fix it. It, it really is just a, a complete miss. And I've talked about this torso anyway. It's not a good torso for anybody, really. I really don't like this torso for anybody. I mean, hell, again, the Matt Hardy torso, the Bo Dallas style torso, that style torso so would be way better than this one right here. I just a complete miss right here. And just a just a weird thing. I don't even understand. I don't I don't know what's going on here. But I had to get on here and talk about that first. I, I just don't understand what they were thinking there. I, I don't know if this is an accident. Or, or what's going on, but this was a weird one. But let's move on to the next one, man. We have Jey Uso. Now, we saw this back at San Diego Comic-Con. This is main event Jey Uso here with the black and blue. Very good-looking figure. It is an Elite 106 figure that's repainted, essentially, which is what the top picks figures usually are. It's a re-release or a repaint. And this looks very good, even though I can't stand the legs of the Elite 106 Uso. It's very stiff. They are pinless. Hopefully, they'll be a bit buttery smooth here. But it's a good-looking Jey Uso. I like the figure. He doesn't come with any entrance hands, which is kind of wild. But we have so many of those hands. Ricochet even could work here. I don't think you're going to run into not having any hands here. I think you should have some in the box. I mean, I guess if this is your first time grabbing this figure, you probably won't have the interchangeable hands. It's just something to mention. But 
I think that the Jey Uso figure does look good. I like it. It is coming in Elite 114. It's going to be slightly repainted a little bit there, I do believe. But this figure looks good. I like this Jey Uso. You even got the black and the hair. You got the full back tattoo. The only thing I don't like is, again, they're giving him the Daniel Bryan torso. So uh, just another God in heaven, man. Another miss on terms of torso. But at least it looks good. I just think that they got to get away from the Daniel Bryan torso. It's way too small, man. But... That was our top picks at least. Let's get into some of these box sets that we have going on right here. We do have the Samoan Dynasty or Legacy Pack here with Roman Reigns. You have Alpha, you have Sika, you have a nice two-in-one figure set here. Great looking packaging on the Samoan Dynasty three-pack right here. I do believe this is Walmart exclusive. You are going to have kind of your two-in-one. You have your old men versions, and then you do have their throwback versions, which are probably a little too small, but I still like it. I like all the accessories you're getting, Hawaiian shirts and everything. You may even be able to use these Hawaiian shirts on other characters, like a Bray Wyatt, a Razor Ramon, different guys like that. You probably are going to be able to swing that, which is cool, and you are getting a sculpted-on gold gauntlet, which we have not seen from Roman Reigns, and it is a new head sculpt, which is supposed to be his wet hair. I'm not a big fan of it. It's the essentially the exact same head sculpt. You're getting a new hair piece with, you know, the sculpted gauntlet that is in gold that we talked about, Blue Universal Championship, all the same leg molds and everything that you that we've come to know. It does look like this Roman Reigns is pinless, though, which I don't think we've seen before. Don't think we've ever seen a pinless Roman Reigns to this point in terms of Elite, but he does have regular Elite boots. Yeah, I mean, it's a run-of-the-mill Roman Reigns. Nothing too crazy here. I, no fade or anything. It's the exact same face sculpt, again, just getting a new hair piece, but I think the offense could look good. I like the necklaces. You're getting the Hawaiian shirts like we talked about. You're getting two different options there. I mean, you're, there's a lot of different things you can kind of play around with this set. And if you want to get two, you can mix it two and one. Again, just a lot of cool stuff going on here. And I love the box set. So I'm all for box sets. I think they look great. Men on card. I think they look good on a shelf. Just a great looking set overall, which we knew this was coming, but I wanted to talk about it. And I can't really tell if the feet are oversized like we saw at San Diego Comic-Con. They look to be a bit fixed, but I can't tell from here. We'll have to wait until the review or something. But Roman Reigns set looks pretty good there. Samoan Dynasty. Let's move on to the next three pack, which is going to be the Target Exclusive Evolution three pack, which is probably one of the sets that I'm most looking forward to, as I've discussed here on the channel plenty of times. I love Evolution. I love everything about the storyline. This is one of my favorite moments, you know, growing up as a kid, just remembering everything. I, like, I legitimately feel like it was yesterday I was watching this on my TV. And we have uh, what I love about this set the most is the new boot molds. We're going to have some new sculpts going on here. I can't wait to get those in hand, see what they feel like. But the attires are good. I love the expressive head sculpts. Batista's all happy. Got the messy hair. He's got the maroon boots, which look clean. Black attire, which looks great as well. We get a brand new Randy Orton repaint with the shocked head sculpt. He's got the smiling, you know, like super happy. This is from Monday Night Raw when he retained the title in a title defense against Chris Benoit. I think it was the night after SummerSlam. He came out and they did a rematch for the World Heavyweight title. Randy Orton ends up retaining in a rematch with Benoit, and that is when Evolution turns on him and, you know, puts him six feet deep. And you, then, you know, the, over the ensuing weeks, you get to hand me that belt, damn it, all the good stuff. But I really, really like this pack. A great looking set overall. Love Triple H, even though. You know, he does have this new torso going on. I think that's the, I want to say that's the Elite 110 Austin Theory torso. It may even be a newer torso than that. I actually think that may be a brand new Triple H style torso, which looks very damn good. It does have the baggy pants. I know, say what you will about the tie and the loose shirt and the loose jacket. I do, I, I have mixed feelings about that. I, I don't know how I feel quite yet because I think at certain angles it looks dumb, but at certain angles it looks good. So it's it's kind of a mix between, you know. I think that it's just all going to depend. Maybe you can make a version where it's sculpted on and then if you're doing an action shot or a pose where, you know, he's, he's undoing the shirt and he rips it off and he beats the hell out of Randy Orton. It's just a bunch of different stuff. But you have a smiling Triple H head sculpt, pissed off Triple H head sculpt. Just a lot of fun stuff going on with this set. I enjoy it. I enjoy this set a lot. It's probably one of my favorite things. And not to mention the packaging looks immaculate. Just a really cool set that I'm looking forward to. Definitely going to be picking up a few of these. Just, uh, just the simple fact of how badass it is for me personally. But let's move on, man. We have more to discuss here. More to discuss. I, I always love getting new images of this stuff because you can really see it versus, you know, seeing it. I mean, I did see a bunch of this in person at San Diego Comic-Con, but at the same time, I love seeing, like, different angles and photography because it kind of, you know, you only get to see it in one pose at Comic-Con even if you're in person, but now you can see different angles and different lighting and such, so it's a bunch of different stuff going on there. But let's get into the greatest hits line. Let's get into the greatest hits line. Let's start off with Natalia. Now, we talked about this at San Diego Comic-Con too, but the... The, the figure, it has the double jointed arms, it has a good head sculpt on it, but this figure is going to have single jointed knees, which I think is just such trash, man. And I know they talk about how it was incompatible or something like that, but 
They could have done something different. I would change course. If it, if it had to come with single jointed legs, I would have just changed course completely. I would have done something completely different here. And you do have the claws out, paws out t-shirt and everything going on. I guess we don't have an image of the chase. Doesn't this figure have a chase variant? I guess we don't have an image of that. But, you know, it's a good Natalia figure. I just hate that it's single jointed. I think that's trash, especially in 2024. It does have thigh cut, which is good. But I don't know, man. I, I like the figure. I just wish it didn't have single jointed knees. And then we do have Sheamus here, which we saw. Again, you're getting different angles here. I know people are going to be hyped for this Sheamus. You could really, I mean, shoot. You could use this as a modern Sheamus if you wanted to. I, I really don't see how you couldn't. You know, you just get rid of the accessories and bam, modern Sheamus for the most part. I know he's a little bit, he's probably a bit chunkier now, but my God. Are they going to give him the Daniel Bryan torso too? Then we had a look at John Cena, which we saw kind of an Elite 23 re-release right here in the the khaki shorts with the red shoes. Pretty good, you know, I'm sure that we're going to continue to get Cena's on a clip like this. Re-releasing it with double jointed arms with the removable armbands. I guarantee they're going to re-release every single John Cena they've ever done at one point. They're going to re-release it here in this way or in the greatest hits of some kind, whether that's from the vault, whether that's in the normal line of greatest hits, whether that's legends, they're going to continue to re-release these Cena's until they get through all the different gears while on top of probably giving us new gears. But it's a good looking figure. It's always been solid. We do have John Cena there, which we knew was coming. And then we also have The Miz here, which we did not have good images of. We discussed this in our news video. I think it was yesterday. It was legitimately yesterday or the day before. We have the, and it's exactly what we thought it'd be. It's exactly what we thought it'd be. We have the Elite 100 John Cena Spinner WWE Championship with the bronze and goldish black attire Miz, which is True Effects updated. Kind of looks a bit weird in the head sculpt. Not bad, though. It is going to be an updated Miz. You can easily swap this head sculpt out for a modern head sculpt, and you have a modern Miz. There's nothing really that has changed too much about Miz. You know, he's not missing a bunch of tattoos or something. You could easily make a modern Miz out of this figure, and I think that's pretty good because you capitalize on modern Miz, you know, collections or people that want it. But the gear looks good. It's a, it's a cool figure. It's a re-release of the Toys R Us exclusive WrestleMania Miz, which is a, you know, it's a solid figure, and hopefully it'll pose around well and have all the good stuff. I know a lot of people have been waiting on a Miz. A lot of people want an Ultimate Edition Miz. I don't know if I'm, I'm stepping out that far. Never was a Miz fan, but I can respect the talent, and I think this figure looks pretty good here. But we do have Roman Reigns here. Now, the other day, we also discussed, we didn't know if Roman Reigns was going to be, like, what specific attire Roman Reigns was going to be. I did have a lot of comments on that video, which I appreciate. People talking about how they thought it was a Shield Roll or a Shield Roman Reigns which I do appreciate. I did not know that. I didn't see anything about that, but he does have the old school gauntlets, old school shield vest and everything. Head sculpt is from his singles run. I wish they would have kind of, I think it would have been really dope if they re-released like that screaming basic from the shield days. You remember when he had blue eyes and stuff? I think that would have been really cool if they could have somehow put a old basic head sculpt with true effects on it, but I understand what they were going for here. He does have pinless legs here, which is interesting. We talked about that on the three-pack Roman in this video. He does come with a penny belt, one of my least favorite tag title designs of all time. But it's a it's a solid Roman Reigns, and it is cool that we're getting that flashback Roman with, you know, it's it doesn't and it doesn't have the tattoo gap, which is really huge, I think. I think that's awesome. He doesn't have the gauntlet quite yet. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool figure overall, but I don't know. It, it's it's not that exciting really, but it is kind of cool to see a throwback Roman that's kind of modernized and, you know, he has that goatee and everything. But the last figure in Greatest Hits is going to be this Cody Rhodes, which is amazing. What a great looking Cody Rhodes figure. He does have the large knee pads on there, but look at this jacket, dude. Look at this damn jacket. You tell me this ain't a good jacket. Look at this hood on here. Comes with a face mask, comes with a bag. Really cool Cody Rhodes figure here. They did decide to go with the Daniel Bryan torso again for him, which is fine because the original figure did. And back then, I feel like this, I, I never liked this torso, but, you know, if, if if I could have it exactly my way, I would have, even back in the day, would have gave him the Matt Hardy, Bo Dallas torso. But this this is okay. It's it's not the ba the biggest deal because we've already seen it before, but I really like the hood. I like the jacket. You could easily, you know, make a regular Cody Rhodes, I think. You know, you can fix Put up that on the Elite 20 Cody Rhodes. You can make a really cool Cody Rhodes out of this jacket if you didn't want, you know, this specific gimmick or gear for him. So that is something I want to see. I hope we get to see, you know, the white attire from back in the day as well. That's something I want to see out of a Cody Rhodes Elite in the modern day. Maybe they could do that in a main Elite line or a Greatest Hits line or something. I don't know. They, they could definitely change it up. Kind of like they did with the Elite 103 Stardust, you know, going back and tying in, getting that WrestleMania 32 gear, something like that. But this Cody does look sweet, and you could probably take a modern Cody head sculpt, paint the hair black, and then put the face mask on there and make, you know, a more 
probably accurate looking face sculpt that ties into that throwback Cody. Yeah, it's just something that I thought about there, but this is pretty cool. I, I like this a lot. And then we also have more figures here. We have the Monday Night War series number four, I think. No, five. I think it's series five. Oh my God in heaven. This is, this is series five of the Monday Night Wars. I haven't seen a single figure of two, three, four, or five. But this is five, but Series 2, 3, and 4. Haven't seen them. I mean, what are we... Good God in heaven, man. Poverty Walmart selection. Out of my mind, man. Let's get into the set here. Let's take a look at the Build-A-Figure first. We do have this NWO Dusty, which we did see at San Diego Comic-Con. But again, you're getting more angles here. You're getting to see what it looks like. You can notice here that at Comic-Con, he had a blue hat. And then they did tell me that that was a running change. And now here in these images, you see a black hat. So he's got the NWO shirt on. He's got these nice jeans, cowboy boots. What's cool about this figure is you could easily make this into a bunch of different pieces. People and you could change out the shirt or make the shirt something else. Put a vest on here. You could put a different custom shirt, make a bigger guy in jeans or something too. But I like the Old Man Dusty head sculpt as well. So you're getting a lot of really fun stuff going on here. But the Dusty Rhodes does look good here. I like it. I like the, the dry brushing on the jeans and stuff looks really cool. But let's get into the rest of the figures in the set. We do have Pac or Six right here. Not Pac. You know what I meant, Brad. We do have Six right here, which looks pretty good. And what's interesting about the Six figure, I don't know what what's going on, but his head sculpt kind of reminds me of Joe Dirt or something. But we have this black and gold and red gear, very similar to a figure we've seen in the past. But he has a Chase variant that is going to have the Six Pac with the thug on the chest. He's got the Notorious on the butt, the thug on the stomach, red kick pads. This is the Chase variant, I think. So you're getting a little bit more details right here. He comes with two sweet hands. You know, it's a very slight change, but if you want another Six figure... This is the one that you can go after right here, which, I don't know, I don't, I don't hate it. It's just, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. I'd definitely rather have an X-Pac, but I'll take what we can get here. We haven't had a lot of six figures, so we will take it right there. But then we also have a look at Razor Ramon in the yellow. Very good looking figure. I love this cloth vest. I love the colors here. Just, it stands out. It pops really hard. And it even has bad guy on the back. It's very sweet. This is a, this Razor Ramon looks very damn good. I like the smirking head sculpt to the smiling head sculpt. Very clean gear. This may be one of my favorite razors they've ever done. I, I really like this a lot. I like it better than a lot of the different razors we've been getting. I just think top to bottom, it's a really complete looking figure. And I like the vest and the yellow a lot. It just looks very good. And I like how bright and shiny the vest is. They did a really good job on this figure. I like it a lot. Very cool Razor Ramon figure. And then moving on to the set, we do have Lita, which we discussed before. I just think it's a really plain Jane Lita. We only got to see one image of it before, but we do have the Women's Championship. You have her posed around a few different ways. You got the pink thong coming up from underneath. You have the black top. It just looks very flat. It, I don't know. There's something about it. It's just like plain black pants, and then everything else. There's just no sculpt work whatsoever on this torso, and it makes it look very odd. It does have the choker necklaces and everything. I just think that... That, and also, not adding makeup really takes away from the, you know, the Monday Night Wars vibe it just was a certain time in the country when, you know, different fashion and stuff was popular. And it, I don't know, it's like when they don't add anything to the head sculpts and they miss out on some of that deco, I just think that it takes a lot of the life out of the figure for whatever reason. It's like it doesn't have the details that it needs. But I love Lita, obviously. It's a good-looking Lita. It looks fine. It's just, I don't know, it's not shattering any ceilings or anything. I just think that it's... It could be so much better, but it is Alita, and I like Alita a lot. I grew up on Alita. I think that it looks good in certain ways. And even look at the packaging. You see how, like, I don't know, that that her face on the box looks a lot more like a Monday Night Wars vibe, 90s vibe. And then you look at the figure, and it just doesn't capture that for me. But I don't know. Anyway, let's dive into the last figure in the set. It's going to be the Ultimate Warrior, which we know this. Yeah, I deemed this the, the Nitro Stage Crowdfund Failure Ultimate Warrior. Because we were supposed to have 10,000 backers to get this in Ultimate Edition. And that is not that did not happen, obviously. And so we have an Elite form. And honestly, the Elite looks pretty damn good. I think the Elite gets about everything you could get out of that. I mean, the coat looks amazing. I like that you have a different take here between the pants, Warrior. It's a very unique look for Warrior. Just a really cool, unique take. And I like it. it. It's changing it up from the status quo of Warrior figures. You know, we're usually getting body paint and bright and neon. And then this changes it up and brings it back to Earth. And really, it has that 90s denim going on with that big belt buckle. I could see people using this as a base for other customs and figures. So that's really cool. I like this. We even have that new boot mold going down below, I think, that is coming on the new Bradshaw figure and stuff. So 
a lot of a lot to like here. A lot to like if you're an action figure guy in terms of sculpts and stuff like that. I'm looking forward to this figure a lot. If my Walmart, if I even be able to find it, probably won't even be able to look at this figure on a shelf. So we'll have to see. But let's move on to the basic figures that we're going to take a look at, man. We do have some different basic sets here. And I cannot remember exactly what basic set this is. Let me go ahead and, and check this out to make sure that we get the basic set so you guys know exactly which basic set this is and all those different things. This is going to be Main Event Series 151. And through the images here, we are going to look at Thea. And she looks pretty good. She does have a chase variant. She has the black attire and the white attire. And I think they did a really good job of capturing her likeness here. I think they did a really good job capturing that likeness, making sure, you know, they capture everything about her look and everything, which is really good. That's always something, man. A head sculpt can really ruin a figure, but I think they did a good job here. And I think the whole entire Chase U looks really good. Uh, speaking of Chase U, we do have Andre Chase here, which is very good as well. I think the likeness is uncanny, man. Man, the, the dude really... If you remove the eye paint from this guy and you took the Chase U off the, off the you know, the chest and everything, he looks like every... English teacher ever, you know, or just some random math teacher at your high school. I mean, this is what this guy looks like right here. And he, you know, it's looking good. It looks just like him. It looks just like the character on my TV, which is always good. And, you know, when they nail a basic, they really do nail a basic. But let's move on to the next figure, which is going to be Roman Reigns. Now, I had a lot of people saying, oh, they fixed the fade or whatever. But this is, guys, this is the same exact figure head sculpt. I do like the, you know, the, the entire figure from head to toe. I do like that it's a promo Roman and everything. I like the jogger mold and everything. The sneakers look good. But the fade on the side, while it is warmer, it's not quite what we need there. It's not quite what we need. It's definitely warmer, but the head sculpt needs to be re completely redone because the beard's not thick enough and, and there's different things where it's supposed to go from like a... It's like a skin fade on his hair and then it's supposed to go into a thicker squarer, more along the jawline beard that kind of gets thicker at the bottom. It's hard to describe, man, but if you look at him in real life, you look at the image. I mean, look at the look at the image on the front of the packaging. That's what it should look like. I mean, that you see how it kind of gets gradually thicker there and then comes back to form. Hard to describe, but it's definitely warmer. It's definitely better. I'd rather have it look like this than just no fade whatsoever, which I do enjoy, so that's good. But then the last two figures in the set, we do have Solo Sokoa. It's a decent looking solo. He does have kick pads, so he gets an updated basic before an updated elite, which is cool. It's actually a solid solo Sokoa. I don't think I, I don't really hate this figure whatsoever. So that's pretty good. Good head sculpt and everything on solo. And then we finish it up with RVD, which I think is a re release of a previously done, maybe Kmart exclusive, but it does have the Ultimate Edition head sculpt RVD t shirt. And then it even has the graphic on the back that says, Damn, it's good to be back. Very cool. Very, very cool. I like the pink gear and everything. Pretty cool basic, all things considered, especially if you like those kinds of attires with the street gear and stuff. But let's move on to some more basics. This next basic wave is going to be Basic Series or Main Event Series 152. Now, we don't have images of every single figure. I think I left out images of the white Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, but both versions of Steamboat look really damn good. The red looks very good as well. I like that they have this really unique torso, and it looks like this is a new skin tone. I don't think we've ever seen this skin tone before, which I think looks really, really good as well. Ricky just looks like a beast, man. Really, and this figure looked damn good in person, too, when I saw it in the case at San Diego Comic-Con. We also have Batista in this set, which is... I want to say this was like previously either... WrestleMania basic or something, and it's getting redone right here. And it even has WrestleMania in the top left. So are these like, are they combining? Rest I guess they are. They're combining basics with the WrestleMania. I just noticed that. So you'll notice that these are the WrestleMania basics morphed into the main event line or just the regular line, which is crazy. But Batista is a formerly released figure. You have Seth Rollins, who's been released a million times. This Seth Rollins has been re-released re so many damn times. But there's something about the color of the beard. I think they made it black this time around instead of a light brown or a, brown, a dark brown. It looks slightly different to me for some reason, but we've seen that figure multiple times over. We also have a look at Stone Cold with this shirt, which I wish was an elite, but at least it's a cool basic enough if you wanted to do some sort of, I don't know, like a really cool display. But I don't know, man, like tucking the shirt into the trunks, it just looks weird. It's a weird thing. I think if you're going to do this... You need to do, you need to pair the Roman Reigns, you know the Roman Reigns torso, the Rey Mysterio torso they use where they put the t-shirt mold over the tights? They need to use that torso and then put that rubber mold over it so it looks like a t-shirt over tights. Does that make sense? You guys see what I'm saying there? I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to make sure you understand. Because if you just paint over the torso, it looks like a tucked in shirt and looks a bit odd, but I'd really like the shirt here. If I saw this in person, I might would get it. And they even included the graphic on the back, which is always great to see. 
And then the last figure in the set is going to be Liv Morgan, which looks pretty good. It's actually a damn good Liv Morgan. Kind of flat, but in terms of the, you could take the choker necklace and this head sculpt. This head sculpt looks considerably better than her Elite 103 head sculpt. So if I see this in person, I might buy this and then put this head sculpt on my Elite 103 Liv Morgan, which I think would look good. So that's just something to think about. I think this looks pretty pretty damn good for the most part, I would say. I don't really hate this Liv Morgan. It's probably one of the better Liv Morgan figures you'll find. She even has like the sleeve on there. Pretty, pretty good there. But let's wrap things up with the championship showdown packs. Now, we do have the CM Punk and Randy Orton championship showdown pack that actually looks pretty hefty. I like this. And by hefty, I just mean good. Like, the head sculpts look good. Attires look good. It is the Bret Hart attire. It comes with the WWE championship, which is kind of a basic spinner version. And then Randy Orton does have the... It, it's a modern Randy Orton head sculpt, which is kind of bummy, you know, but I, I don't hate it. I think it looks cool. It's like the purple and black. Pretty decent figure set. If I see this in person, I probably would grab it. And then we also have a look at Cena and Rock. Not anything to, to you know, write home about. It's the Ultimate Edition Cena with a regular Rock. We've seen this Rock head sculpt so many damn times. Makes me want to throw it out in the yard. But it, it's okay. I think it'll sell just because it's Cena and Rock. It's a good... You get two big-time superstars in the same set, so it makes sense there. And then the absolute best two-pack out of these figures, I would say, is the Mean Gene and Hulk Hogan two-pack, which looks so damn good. This is a sick two-pack. Yeah, Mean Gene Omania shirt. 84 title, light blue with like all the colors here. And then this suited mean jean looks sick as hell. Love this suited mean jean. Love the like light blue jacket with the WWE logo. Great head sculpt, great tie. This is a damn good pack. If I see this, I'm easily buying this. This is probably one of the more underrated figure packs that you'll see in this video. Just a great looking set overall. I really enjoy the, the Mean Gene and the Hulk Hogan 2-pack right there. So that is something that I definitely wanted to talk about. But I don't know. It was a very interesting day of news. We had a lot of stuff to talk about. A lot of the stuff we have seen, but some of it we hadn't seen. And also just some points that we had to talk about, right? I think that... I was absolutely flabbergasted by the damn Seth Rollins elite. I had no, I had no idea. That was completely crazy, man. Could, did not see that coming at the slightest. So that definitely took me by surprise. But definitely want to get on here, chat about all of the news, of course. And again, we've had so much news coming at us and a lot of stuff coming in that we, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's getting busy season again, man. Getting busy season again. But nonetheless, man, that is pretty much going to wrap the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on all these things down below. Join me down in the comment section below to discuss these things. What do you think about the Seth Rollins thing? Do you understand why they changed it? Do you think it's one of those things that they just shouldn't have changed completely? I'm on that board, man. I just don't... Uh, that was completely weird because now it's like, oh my God, if Seth Rollins is coming down the line again, are they going to do it again? You know, that's what my biggest fear is. So this is definitely not a trend that I'm going to hop on. I would rather keep it like it is, man. I just think it was an unnecessary change, but I am going to get the hell out of here, man. Huge shout out to our Patreon members. Thank you guys so very much again for everything that you guys do. I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys for your support. It means the world to me. Thank you guys so very much. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know your thoughts down below. But I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.